I'm going to show you how to upgrade memory in your computer. Um, my computer here is a Compact Presario CQ5320Y. Uh, first thing you need to do is find out what kind of memory your computer will take. I just went on to uh, HP's website, found my model of uh, computer, and it gives me the complete specs for my machine and it tells me exactly what kind of memory uh, my computer can take. It tells me that it came with three gigabytes of memory, which I knew, but the maximum is four gigabytes. So it's not a huge jump, but if you, you think of it going from uh, three to four, that's like a 33% uh, increase of memory right there. And um, there's two memory slots. One memory slot has a two gigabyte uh, card in there, and the other uh, memory uh, slot has a one gigabyte uh, card in there. Um, my computer has dual channel memory architecture, and it will work more efficiently if I have matching memory in each of those slots. So what I did was I bought a four gigabyte kit that has two two gigabyte cards. All I did was I went on to the Crucial Memory website, typed in the model of my computer, and it told me exactly what kind of uh, memory I needed. And so I went ahead and bought it. So I'm going to go ahead and install this. I'm going to show you how easy it is to install new memory. First thing I want to do is open the case. And this is just like a little Torx driver here. So I just go ahead and remove this little screw back there. Just loosen it. And I can slide this little panel off right there. Okay, my two memory cards are right here. One thing you want to do uh, when working inside a machine, uh, like a computer, a lot of this stuff is very sensitive to static. So you want to go ahead and touch bare metal with your hands. They also make little rest straps where you can uh, have a wire attached and clip it onto the, the case, but I've never used one of those. Basically, just periodically touch the metal to uh, discharge any static that you might have in there. Um, so here, I'm going to go ahead and remove the old memory cards. There's this, these little uh, levers on either side, so I'll just go ahead and just push those down, and just, the memory card just kind of pops up a little bit. So I'll just go ahead and lift it out, and I'll go ahead and set it aside. And the other one, I'll just go ahead and push those little levers, and it pops up, and I'll go ahead and push that aside. Okay. Now, I don't know if you can see it here, um, there's like a little uh, divider like right here in the middle and there's a slot here and a longer slot on the other side so that gives you an indication of which way the memory will go in so go ahead and pull the memory out of the little package if you look here um, again discharge frequently um, I've got a short little slot here or a little edge here and a long edge there so the memory is going to go in this way to, to match up with the slot. So all I'm going to do is line it up in there. And then I can just push it down. And the little levers are going to kind of close up on the side and snap it into place. Then take the other one. Again, I'm handling it by the edges. I'll try to avoid touching the the, uh, the contacts as much as possible. Discharge. Always discharge frequently. Just make sure that you don't build up a little charge somewhere. And just push it down. And it'll just snap right into place. Okay, now I just have to plug the computer in, power it up, and uh, make sure that I have the full 4 gig of memory showing when I go into the uh, system configuration. And that's all it is. I just have to close it up, and I'm done. That's how you do it.